Hello, I'm Peter Vaughan and this is the first part of our Dusseldorf Caravan Salon coverage, looking at the smaller campervans in which there have been some very, very exciting developments this year. Definitely one of the absolute highlights of this year's show is the new California. Okay, it's only a concept at this stage, but expect production to be in full swing during 2024 and deliveries late 2024. Now, there's been so much talk about what was going to happen to California because the T6.1 California has been such a success. Even going back through its predecessors, T5, T4 and so on, Volkswagen has sold over a quarter of a million Californias, so it is an important vehicle to them. Would it be an ID Buzz? Would it be the next generation transporter? No, it's based on the multivan, the T7 multivan, which for the first time means you'll be able to have a California as a plug-in hybrid. Now, the multivan is also available in petrol and diesel form, so it's not quite certain what power units will be available on California, but expect a plug-in hybrid to be one option. But this isn't a simple matter of taking the T6.1 California and plonking it into a new base vehicle. This is an all new California. Yes, you still get features like the outdoor table, although that now stores in the boot rather than in the door. And you still get the outdoor chairs that do still store in the tailgate. One of the big changes though, and so important for UK customers, is that you now get a sliding door on the near side. Not just on the near side, because the multivan comes with twin sliding doors. And that changes the layout quite considerably, because obviously the kitchen couldn't extend right the way across that opening, or there wouldn't be much point in it. Another new aspect is that the rollout awning is now on the near side because this is your outdoor living space. You put your table and chairs out there because your fridge is now just inside the sliding door. About 39 litres, I think, capacity. So similar to the old top loading fridge, but of course, much more accessible. You can control the fridge by a sort of iPad unit on which you might also want to watch Netflix or something, which is built in. or if you're driving along and think, oh, I forgot to turn the lights off or I forgot to turn the fridge on, well, you can do it from the dashboard as well or you can do it from your phone. The kitchen unit has been brought up to date too with induction cooking for the first time. Now that, of course, will only work if you're hooked up on a campsite, but they've thought of that too. The kitchen unit now slides out and in the slide out section you've got a single gas burner and your kitchen sink. And that's not the only change. You've got wider access on the offside and you can mount a sail awning there or a freestanding awning, a bedroom for the kids, whatever you want. So you've then got almost three rooms, your outdoor party space on the near side, your awning, whatever space on the outside there, and of course your internal living area, still with the roof bed up top. Passengers in the back will be much more comfortable because you've now got individual rear seats and they're individual in the way they slide and recline. Cab seats too have changed in that you can now have height adjustment and swivelling. To make the bed, well, these seats no longer form part of the bed. The mattress unfolds from the boot over the top of the seats, so you won't have this lumpiness to sleep on. You've still got a decent sized boot area, but as you can see, the mattress for the bed does eat into that space, and your table just slides in here. But still, plenty of room for your wellies, walking boots, and any other outdoor clobber. There's still no sign of an ID Buzz California. Maybe they'll reveal that in concept form at next year's Dusseldorf Caravan Salon. 
when the multivan California is actually in production. In the meantime, how about this? An ID Buzz passenger carrying vehicle, but with a bed and kitchen unit, care of Cuckoo in the back. So not a full camper, But if you want to turn your ID Buzz into some sort of camper van, well, this could be the solution. You've got a full-size double bed, and in here, a basic sink, a bit of a cool box, and most importantly of all, somewhere to make a cup of tea. The ID Buzz, though, doesn't have exclusivity on retro design. If anything, this Citroen, I think, is more retro than the ID Buzz. You'd never guess that under this Casolani body kit, well, I think it's more than just a body kit, but you wouldn't believe that under here was a standard Citroen dispatch. Obviously, it's evoking the styling of the 1950s, 1960s H-Van, which is such an iconic vehicle, perhaps even more so today that half a million of them seem to have been turned into coffee trucks. This camper inside, though, is relatively conventional. Side kitchen design with a sliding seat system. Conversion has been done by Bravia Mobile and will be in production. And you can buy this kit to turn your dispatch into a vehicle that looks as wonderfully iconic as this. One of the California's key rivals, of course, is the Mercedes Marco Polo, and that's well established both in the UK and, of course, on the continent. But there is an updated Marco Polo for 2024. The habitation area stays the same, all done by Westphalia, but there are some new base vehicle features, a modernised dashboard, very Mercedes car with fully uh, digital dashboard display, and features such as this camper level control. No longer will you be parked on a sloping pitch. There's no mistaking the front end styling of this new Marco Polo, but equally, well, just look at this interior, you could be in an E-Class or S-Class a bit different from your average Fiat Ducato. Maybe you can't afford the fully fledged Marco Polo or it won't fit in your garage. So how about this? The new T-Class with a Marco Polo module. In a similar vein to the ID Buzz with the Cuckoo in the back, you've got a boot area full of camping kit and a double bed that extends over the folded rear seats. But this prototype from Brabus Automotive does seem particularly well planned and very nice quality. You've got this slide out single burner cooker and a little bit of storage, a fridge in the middle, and a proper kitchen sink. Oh, and that comes out. And as part of the kit, you get the essential outdoor table and chairs. Just as important as the new California, perhaps, is the new Ford Nugget. As California is to VW an in-house product, so Nugget is effectively Ford's in-house campervan, although it is built by Westphalia. Sold, of course, through Ford dealers, and this is based not just on the new Transit Custom, but the new Torneo Custom, the more upmarket people carrier version. And incredibly, this one, although we're in Germany, this is a right-hand drive vehicle. So exactly as you'll see it in the UK, with twin sliding doors. So initially, the Nugget is a short wheelbase, just over five metres, um, and with the pop-top roof. But the layout is pretty much the same. Twin swivel seats in the front, and this three-seater bench behind. But the three-seater bench is now on sliding rails, much easier to use and to convert into a bed. 
and there are some important changes on the base vehicle too. To start with, it'll be a 170 horsepower diesel with eight speed automatic gearbox. But further options are coming. There'll be a four wheel drive one for the first time and a plug-in hybrid model for the first time. Not only is the seat easier to use, but it's also now heated. So you get a heated bed too. Now they say imitation is the sincerest form of flattery and well, where have we seen this before? Imitating the California, you've now got outdoor chairs stored in the tailgate, so much better than the previous nugget. And unlike the new California on the multivan, this new nugget has the table stored in the sliding door. So that's another great feature. In the kitchen area too there have been changes because you've now got a lot more worktop thanks to the fact that it's a drawer style fridge rather than a top loader. There are now blinds on the windows and a control panel that's a nice neat touch screen for all your camping facilities and I believe that can be linked to your phone as well. Just look at this cab, you can hardly believe that this is basically a Ford Transit. Look at the fully digital displays that you've got. Well, the Transit Custom really has come of age. So if you're looking for something a bit more of a full camper based on the ID Buzz, how about this Dutch conversion from Venture based near Utrecht? Nice little kitchen at the back that you can use from inside or out. Under this worktop flap, you've got a portable fridge, you've got induction cooking, and so neatly designed that you've got external access to your cutlery pots and pans and so on. But also, the lounge area is quite different. So you've got a little bit of furniture down the side, but of course your main unit is at the rear, and you've got a rear-facing bench as well as this forward-facing one brings back memories of sort of 1970s style VW campers, but brought right up to date with, of course, EV motoring. There isn't a pop top on this one yet, but Ventier is developing its own roof, especially for the ID Buzz. Their history is in transporter conversions. Price of this one, 98,000 euros. Volkswagen isn't the only company converting the new T7 multivan. Rymo have had a go as well with this prototype for a new trio style. And they've also looked at the smaller campervan market with a couple of conversions on the new Caddy. You will see so many campervan brands at this show. Many names that we just don't know in the UK. Off track. Sommer Van Camp, Mega Mobile, that sounds good, doesn't it? And Salty Blue. We wondered how long it would be before we saw an ID Buzz with a pop top. And the first one comes from not Volkswagen, not even a German brand, but Mercus Camper from Poland. It's a full length roof with a roof bed too. And inside, they seem to have achieved the impossible. A conventional VW camper layout with a comfortable rear seat and a side kitchen. Compressor fridge, induction cooker and a proper sink. There's a full double bed with a mattress topper and you can still just about use the swivel passenger seat. And the roof bed extends over the cutaway to give you a full two metre length up top. It's interesting to see a manufacturer as big as Burstner, a company known for its big motorhomes up to the tag axle elegance, building something so small. Of course they are in the campervan market already with the Renault Plier, but this little Renault Kangoo, really quite a small vehicle and under two metres high with this roof all folded down. But it is just a concept at this stage. Whether it goes into production next year really depends on feedback from customers at shows like this. So at the back of the Burstner Habiton, well, it's got some very clever ideas. Little slide out table or worktop, these carry portable uh, storage boxes that you can just take in and load at home. 
slide out fridge of course and your little kitchen with induction hob and then you've got this generous living space in the inflatable awning which is all freestanding can be zipped up and you drive off in your car for the day So that's a roundup of the campervan news at Caravan Salon Dusseldorf 2023. EVs, tiny car sized campers, pop tops, new base vehicles, we've seen it all. Don't forget too, there will be a second video coming from Dusseldorf on the larger campervans and motorhomes here. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and don't forget to like this video.